Hello everyone, welcome back to Glow Up with Rache and I am Rache coming at you with a new video today talking about my veneers, affordable veneers that I went to Miami to get. So I would like to say this, I got my veneers for myself. I did not get it for nobody else. I did this change for me. Everything I do, I do for myself. And I just want to tell you girls that's glowing up and want to do anything for yourself do it for you do not listen to anybody else because so many people when i told them about my process that i was getting veneers said don't do it and i feel like this was the best decision i ever made when it came come to improving myself um and i did it for me just like how I gained weight for myself and I was on my gain weight journey and I didn't listen to anybody else. Don't listen to nobody else when it comes to your self-love and your process of improving and evolving. And I'm talking about internally and externally. If you want to improve something in your life, do it and do it for you. Don't listen to anybody else. Just do your research. Make sure it's the right process for you. Make sure it's the right journey to move forward in any situation. And that's just my disclaimer on this part too, getting my veneers. Let's get right into this. So I went into the part where I got up to the chair and they gave me my needle and put me, you know, in that chair to get my veneers done. So the first process, they shaved down my teeth and it was not a lot of shaving. I was definitely um, really surprised that they didn't even shave my teeth down that much since my teeth was really crooked and crowded um i gave them permission i said listen do what you have to do <laughs> to make my teeth straight if you have to shave them down shave them down so i was okay with the shave down shark baby shark doo -doo 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 process i don't care so i just want them to be nice i'm paying this money i want them to be how i want them to be so if you need to do something in the process do it <laughs> So, um, and they didn't shave it down that much. Like the dentist did not shave it down that much um, for the procedure. So once they started shaving, I didn't feel anything. It was just a drill and the noise. So I asked the assistant in the dentist, can I put my headphones in to listen to music before they start the process? Because that noise was just like crunching. You know how they scratch a chalkboard? It was like that. Like it was like that. Ugh. I don't even like to explain it, but the drill was very, uh. So <laughs> I put my headphones in and I blast my headphones to probably the maximum amount I could blast them. And I was playing, you know, groove, 1970s music, uh, Earth, Wind & Fire, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. <laughs> I was just blasting, okay? But I was blasting Tina Marie, you know, I was just blasting some groove music, some back in the day 70s grooves. So um, when I did that, the process went really fast for me. The shaving process was very fast. When he did the gum contouring, I didn't even know he did the gum contouring. I thought the gum contour was going to hurt. And I, did, I don't even know if he did it because my eyes was literally closed the whole time. I'm not going to lie to you. Um... My eyes were closed and like closed, I mean like shut, shut. Like, um, <laughs> yeah. So I put my headphones in, I blast my music. The top of my teeth probably lasted, uh, the shaving process probably lasted about 20 minutes. The bottoms was probably 30 minutes, it was a little bit longer. I did have a little bit of bleeding at the bottom of my gums. He said my gums was very inflamed and that's because of the deep cleaning. Um, my gums was like angry because of the deep cleaning and um, the process of it. So it got like a little inflamed and I got like a little bleeding or whatever. And I, I kind of was panicky. So I got like a little panicky. The dentist told me, you know, it's nothing to worry about. This is normal. You know, people have bleeding in the gums when this happens. So I calmed down and put my music back on. Um, <laughs> the assistant was very, very, very empathetic. And he explained to me what was going on. And, you know, it stopped or whatever. And they continued with the process. And then he scanned my mouth. So he scanned my mouth with the shark teeth in. <laughs> um... And I think the scan, when they scan your mouth, it's 
good because they scan it to fit your face so whatever is the shape of your mouth that's how they will put the teeth because I did not have any um, uncomfortable moments when they put my teeth in so I had to be with the shark teeth for 24 hours guys um I could not eat anything but like really soft food so I ate mashed potatoes um like oatmeal I remember eating grits and it was it was not painful being that way I feel like the first night my gums was really sore but it was more like throbbing it wasn't like pain if that makes sense or maybe my pain level is different but it was not painful it was just like more annoying and throbbing and I couldn't sleep so I had to take a Tylenol and then they prescribed I wrote them on Instagram they were very responsive they prescribed me something in the morning which I picked up but by the time I picked it up it stopped hurting it was just more sensitivity so if I breathe in a breath of cold air or breathe out then it will be very sensitive you can't eat nothing too hot you can't eat nothing too cold so whatever you put in your mouth because remember you now you have holes in it and your gums is feeling every little thing so now it wasn't extra sensitive but I felt it like once in a blue moon that night was like kind of hard for me to sleep that first night when I got back home um it was really it was kind of hard for me to sleep because it was like I just felt like tingling like sensation and I then I pictured the dentist like working on my teeth <laughs> I don't know if I got like traumatized with that but after that night I slept the second night like a baby um I went first thing in the morning to get my veneers done I think I went 8 30 8 a.m maybe maybe 8 a.m 8 30. um the process was pretty quick um they sat me in the chair uh he asked me if I wanted anesthesia I said no <laughs> I'm gonna take it like a champ I'm not getting no anesthesia because I need a hurts so um I did not get any anesthesia um it was not painful when he put the teeth in he had the teeth ready for me the guy put it in for me um he put it in first to see how they look he gave me the mirror I said I love them but I wanted to make a little minor adjustments to the teeth once he did the minor adjustments um they put it in for me and I seen it in the mirror and I automatically loved it everybody was coming up to me um was like oh my god you look like a model oh my god you know even customers in there was like oh my god you're so pretty um I mean I was pretty before <laughs> I was, you know, cute before, you know what I mean? But I understand, you know, the improvement of what a smile can do sometimes, you know. Um, even with regular, you know, your regular teeth, you don't even have to get veneers. If you get your teeth cleaned, um, you know, the, it makes a difference, you know. So um, it was just a happy moment for me. Uh, I was like, oh, yeah, this is it's a major improvement. It definitely took me to another level of business wise and how I can, you know, elevate business wise for me. You know, um, I've been holding off on a lot of things. I feel like subconsciously because of my insecurity of my teeth and um like you, like I said, I could, you could be a confident person, but everybody has their flaws and insecurities. And as long as you acknowledge them, I feel like you can change them or just live with them and be happy with them. It's fine. But I knew for me that this was going to elevate me to a certain level of um, success that I haven't touched yet. Um, and I, I have stop saying um <laughs> but I, I know it was going to take me to a certain level of success that I have not touched yet and I have touched many levels of success but this is going to elevate me to a level that I have not touched yet so I knew for me this was going to bring me what needs to be given you know what I'm saying the blessings that need to come to me so I was like so ecstatic I was happy you know I he asked me to shave down the teeth you know to make them more perfect I said no I like it it gives the character it gives it um natural I like I like it gives natural you know what I mean so that's what I like about these teeth that it gives natural and it's not like over the top and it's like if you don't know me you would think they're my my real teeth <laughs> so the aftercare of the teeth basically the first day you cannot eat anything hard or you don't want to chip the teeth and the glue is probably still settling in 24 hours after so um the cement 
um, is settling in. So I did not eat anything hard that day. Um, I He did say, like, sit on it, eat, eat, you know, but not anything too hard, but eat and come back the next day for a follow-up before I leave to take off to New York. So I did that, I ate, and I felt like, one tooth back here and this was a tooth where the bridge is supposed to be um connected to this tooth was like giving me a little bit of it was just a little bit uncomfortable not even that much but just a little bit like hitting against my mouth a little bit and my tongue so when i came back the next morning i told him can he like file it down here and in the back and probably file it down on top a little bit and he did that and once he did that everything was perfect everything was fine i took pictures with the dentist i took pictures with the staff um they took pictures of my before and afters i'm not afraid to show my teeth i was showing my teeth to the world before <laughs> making videos and pictures and still getting recognition with the teeth i had before so like come on so i was like okay let's take pictures whatever um it was mad cool the staff was so friendly everybody was friendly um there everybody was cool i didn't feel any you know because i seen reviews on other places as well i don't want to say them by name but on other places that everybody was going to they were feeling discriminated um discriminated and you know people talking about them and you know it was just, it was too much so i just x'd out a lot of places i did four months of extensive research you know um in intense research i felt like i did deep this time in order to get what i want out of a smile because this is a lifetime change ladies and gentlemen like if you want veneers um and for me i feel like if you have nice well not even nice if you have straight teeth and you want to change in your teeth just get your teeth cleaned and whitened and or maybe a little gum couture whatever the case may be but if you want an, an extreme change like you want veneers or something like that i feel like you should do the composites um the composites i don't know how, which one it is tomato tomato um go to the dentist and, and say you want the composites and that's veneers that they put on top of your teeth if you have an already straight smile i suggest you don't have to shave down your teeth um if you don't want them to be shaved now if you want them to be shaved do whatever the hell you gotta do but i wanted my teeth to be shaved down because my teeth had severe crowdedness and crookedness and and stains so that was my decision to do that for me they didn't tell me to do that i said i was gonna i wanted to do that um to have the perfect smile for myself so this is part two guys i love my teeth i love my journey i love it i love it i love it the pricing for everything was nine thousand one hundred dollars and that was with the deep cleaning treatment the gum contouring and the 16 veneers overall so nine thousand one hundred dollars is probably equivalent to what i would have paid if i went to colombia because i was thinking about going to colombia to do travel costs and expenses and then i was <clears throat> excuse me in another country so that kind of like was nerve battling right there because <clears throat> excuse me i don't know why i'm making jokes up if something was to go wrong or whatever like i'm in a whole different country and i don't know the standards or procedure over there for anything so that's why i did the research to do something that was only three hours two hours away from me so it's basically almost the same thing as going to columbia to get them done <laughs> so it's like you might as well get it done in the states like it was like very 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 reasonable to me um everything was reasonable um even the ones in Colombia looked a little bit mm, overwhelming for me I feel like I could say overwhelming and as you can see it's like so my mouth is the same the same as my regular teeth how my regular teeth was like were in my mouth they fit the exact same way so eating now it's been almost seven days eating now has gotten better i'm just like really 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 paranoid i know they're not going to like 
you know fall out or anything but i'm just really paranoid so i just take my time eating and i stay away from hard food hard like nuts and things like that for now until i get more used to it the doctor said it will get take like up to maybe two weeks to fully get used to them in my mouth to make them feel like they're mine now that it feel natural i have no speech you know nothing was wrong with my speech um sometimes i get a little uh, but it's like nothing like a lisp or something crazy you know what i mean so i'm still like they like natural and then like i get the moments where i'm like whoa something is in my mouth you know <laughs> like so it's like natural until like they're not uh, in a sense so it's all in your head basically everything was natural i came out talking normal there's no speech delay or anything like that so everything turned out really really well and thank you smile mission for giving me an amazing beautiful amazing all i can say is amazing smile because i was literally speechless when once they put it in that see my mouth thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video for more videos you know to come from your girl glowing up with Frache. You know, we glowing up together, me and you. Yes, making improvements for the best in our lives. Okay.